Okay, just starting with a new project. Um, we grab a suitable bit of data, uh, a suitable video clip, and change the current settings of the project to match the video clip. Okay, and moving on to edit, drag that clip down onto your um, timeline. And you'll see it's me just cycling home after being doing some mountain biking. So it's a nice clip with something to track. Right, the handlebar or the, um, that's my Garmin there. Okay, and next we want to add a bit of text to it. And test tracking. Just a suitable generic bit of text. I'm just going to drag this out to the length of the project. Now I know there's probably a shortcut to do that, but I don't know what it is. So at the moment, if you just play the clip, test tracking, very boring, sits in the middle. Uh, what we have to do is we also have to make this into a compound clip for some reason, just so that it can... Um, deal with tracking and the way I did that was I just right click on the uh, text track and just say new compound clip call it something title ah, title tracking uh. okay no, it looks pretty crap because it just blanks out the whole of the background. But click on the um, the new clip you created, composite clip, and we're gonna make its overlay additive rather than just overlay. And that way, uh, you can see the background behind it. Okay, all very good. Still nothing to do with tracking on this. So if we go into what's called colour, where you can do all your effects and things. Now we've edited our clip. And with the clip we want to track, excuse me, um, highlighted. Uh, and within the tracker window down here, obviously you can use other options, but for coloring and things, but we're just tracking. Um, and stabilizer selected. You'll see there's no information. This is where our tracking information is gonna get displayed. So if we click interactive mode, uh, I'll leave this at point tracker. In fact, interactive mode means nothing then. So you add a tracker point, and a wee red point appears on the screen, which you just drag down to somewhere, like so. Don't know what that's all about. Um, so we now have a tracking point on the source clip. So you should just be able to hit track forward. And you notice that it, the red uh, the red cross tracking point is uh, tracking the position of my Garmin. Nothing's happening yet with the uh, overlay. I'll show you what we do in a minute. You see down in this window, you can see our tilt seems to be doing all the work. Uh, I'm not going to let it go for the entire length of the clip uh, because we've got other stuff to get on with. Oh, and it, it pauses occasionally, I don't know why. You just press play, it carries on. You get a start forward tracking message. Um, so I think we've got enough track data there for our purposes. Stop tracking, it's stopped anyway. Don't hit stabilize on this um, clip because 
we're not aiming to stabilize me on my bicycle. We're aiming to use that information to stabilize the uh, overlay we're going to work on now. So we click on the compound clip. And make sure you're in the stabilizer window or tab, whatever it's called. Uh, okay, go back to the bicycle clip. Now you see this there, all the tracking information. We can actually copy the track data from this stabilize window and apply it to this window. Uh, by default, by the way, this will be set to 100. I'll show you what happens if you leave it at 100. Actually, no, I won't. What I'll do is you, you probably need to set this to minus 100, first of all. So that's the track data there. It's not been applied to the text yet. So what you do is highlight stabilize and click it. And then go back to the start of the clip. Press play. And there's your tracking. Now I'm not sure this is doing tilt. You know, uh, sorry, rotation of test tracking. Even though it's selected, it may be because uh, there's an option to do cloud tracking, uh, which I think would probably do it better. But there's some, it comes up with questions about power windows and stuff, which I'm not that sure about. So if we go back to, does this play properly now in here? Oh, it does. There you go. It's a bit jerky. Obviously, export it, save it however you want it. But there you go. There's an example of tracking um, text.